Hello, everyone. Welcome to our 15th video. Hello. This is the second video of the Agile Retrospective series. Let's remind our audiences of the Agile Retrospective sections, which is seen on the screen now. First one is the set the stage. Second, gather data. Third section is generate insights. Fourth section is decide what to do. Fifth section is close the retrospective. Set the stage section prepares the participants for the retrospective. It is the first section and conducted at the beginning of the retrospective. The actions here should be the topics covered in our videos. Our 14th video was the first video of this series. You can click on the card at the upper right corner of the screen to see that video. In that video, we explained what an Agile retrospective is, what its sections are, and when it is conducted. We emphasized that the methods we explained in this series are not limited to agile retrospectives. One can use these methods in projects which aren't managed by using the agile approach. Actually, these methods can be used outside the area of project management. All these methods are applicable to any kind of meeting conducted partially or completely as a workshop. In the 14th video, we explain the check-in workshop in the set the stage section. In this video, we are going to explain the ESVP workshop, which is again in the set the stage section of the retrospective. Mr. Rizgi, can you tell us what ESVP stands for? Sure. ESVP stands for Explorer, Shopper, Vacationer, Prisoner. We mentioned different types of retrospectives like sprint, iteration, release, and projects in our previous video. For which type of retrospective is the ESVP workshop suitable? This workshop is perfectly suitable for all types of retrospectives. Why do we perform an ESVP workshop? We'll do it when we want to understand the participants' current emotional state related to the current retrospective meeting. How much time? is needed for this workshop? Uh, spending about 10 minutes would be enough. What do we do in this workshop? The people vote their attributes in an anonymous way. There are four choices. Explorers, these people want to learn as much as possible during the meeting. Their motivation is high. Uh, that was the first choice. Second choice is shoppers. These people will follow the meeting, but they will be happy to go home with just one single useful aid idea. The third choice is vacationers. These people aren't interested in the retrospective at all, but they are happy to be away from the daily grind. They consider this meeting as an occasion to take a rest. And last, fourth choice is prisoners. These people feel that they have been forced to attend, although they don't want to. Okay, what do we do next? We figure out how many people there are in each category. How do we interpret the results? Uh, well, ideally, we want everyone to be an explorer, but we cannot expect this in every meeting. If the number of explorers and shoppers are high, then we consider to be good news. So no strong corrective action would be needed. On the other hand, if the number of vacationers and prisoners are high, 
This is bad news. In this case, the retrospective leader should keep the meeting duration as short as possible. This is a reactive action. Is it possible to take a proactive action? Yes, sure. Actually, one should try to take a proactive action before each meeting. In our case, the meeting organizer would try to guess which category each participant is going to call. For example, the meeting organizer might think that a certain person will be an explorer, and this is good news. The meeting organizer should think as follows. Is there something I can do to have as many explorers as possible for the upcoming meeting? Then take the necessary actions before the meeting. In other words, do your homework. Thank you, Mr. Bizley. We have reached the end of video 15. Please subscribe to our channel and like our videos. You can support us from our Patreon page. Hope to see you in our next video. We'll be glad if you write your comments below our videos. Also, feel free to ask any questions you might have. Contact us using our email addresses if you are interested in our courses. Goodbye. Bye-bye.